This is Pushback's uh, case 628. Uh, I already did a preliminary findings report on it. This is the final report. This is a Pushback's periapical pre-op, and this is the uh, CBCT that he took. When you look closely at the CBCT, you can see there is a furcal area and a large lateral. It was a class two furca. This is Pushback's diagnosis page. The diagnosis was pulp necrotic, pulp necrosis. And he did a, no instrumentation technique on this, only used a 1403, and that was the only instrumentation on this case. These are his notes. You can slow the video up if you really need to look at this carefully. Um, he did a gentle wave on it using a 1403 minimal kind of instrumentation. And then uh, he sectioned the tooth and e extracted it. I got the tooth in formalin, and this is my radiographs of the tooth as I got it. So I covered this pretty much in the preliminary report, so I'm not I'm not going to review those findings uh, too much. Uh, this was the mesial root. There looked to be uh, some granulation tissue at the apices, and that's the distal root. And as I mentioned, when we sectioned it, the apical half of the pulp was still present in in all the canals. Uh, didn't look like it had been instrumented there really at all. Uh, so the apical half of the tooth was filled with an intact pulp, and the SEMs uh, show the same kind of thing. So there wasn't much to look at. But I thought it might be interesting to look at actually the large furcal canal, because if there were going to be microorganisms, one would think they would be there. So it's worthwhile getting your orientation uh, when you look at the sections. So we're going to look... Uh, right where the furcal canal was, thinking that uh, if there were some biofilms, uh, that's where we would likely find them. So if you try to get your landmarks, you can kind of see uh, where we're looking, and you get a little better sense of the orientation. And then when we look into that area, uh, I looked fairly carefully uh, searching for uh, biofilms, but when we went into the area, I, I didn't see anything that even resembled uh, a biofilm at all. So uh, I was not able to detect uh, any organisms. It just looked like uh, a lot of uh, pre-dentin all chopped up from the gentle wave. And then when you go into the area where um, there was no pulp up in coronally where the 1403 removed all of the pulp. And you look at that dentin, it does have that gentle wave appearance to it. And looking carefully at the peritubular dentin, uh, that has all been decalcified. You can see a relatively strong decalcification. And you can see the collagen nature of the uh, dentinal tubule with no peritubular dentin. So uh, that's the case. I uh, hope you find it interesting.